Hey everybody, welcome back to 18 Outdoors. We really appreciate y'all watching, all y'all support. If you don't care, if you haven't, like, subscribe. And uh, again, we appreciate everything. Today, I got some clips of when I went on this mountain lion hunt. You know, huge mountain lion. Uh, this happened in the state of New Mexico, a very beautiful state. I mean, amazing. Got a diverse amount of animals you can hunt. You know, it's a crazy bunch of stuff. Mountains. Uh, we actually hunted this animal in the Gila Apache National Forest. Again, a crazy beautiful place. I was about 8,000 feet up when I took this animal. We used dogs, you know. I grew up, my dad had rabbit dogs pretty much all the time. You know, love hearing the sound of dogs barking, chasing, you know. A great time. You know, mountain lion population, if it kind of gets carried away, can be rough on elk and mule deer, you know, any kind of animal like that. They kill, they'll kill a elk or a deer a week you know that's you know pretty impressive so how this hunt took place is you kind of try to wait on the snow because it's the, a big cat a tom like this has a huge range you know hundreds of miles so so what we did is i got there right after right before a snow hit a good snow and we drove around on logging roads for hundreds of miles like 300 miles a day we got up at two o'clock morning strike out start driving you know, making grids, looking for a fresh mountain lion track. And on the third day, I think, we found this guy's track, but before that, we'd found different cat tracks, like, you know, female cats and maybe smaller ones, so then we didn't run them. We are uh, we're targeting mature, you know, toms, you know. One thing about running with dogs is you can trim them, and you can kind of pick what you want to choose to hunt, you know, shoot, take out the population. So, uh, anyway, Again, this is a very cool hunt. You know, New Mexico, you know, public land with some good dogs. And uh, it was the morning this happened, it was minus five degrees, had about a foot of snow, again, high elevation. You know, and this was in January and I'd had no uh, COVID in November. So I was putting in dang shape and it was rough. That was one of the hardest things I've ever tried to do is uh, you'll see on this video, we don't, I didn't, actually show the actual kill shot another issue was where he treed out was not real real far from some private land blocks so we had to make sure as soon as we got to him if he if he jumped trees when we got there he might have got hit toward private land so as soon as i told that guy that you don't have to worry as soon as i can get a shot where i can see him you know trust me to make a good shot because i'm again one of the things i stress is being familiar with equipment no hot shoots and all that and i use my rifle you know so Anyway, when we got up there pretty close to this cat, I knew it was big looking through the scope, shot him. You know, he was dead when he hit the ground, so, and you'll see, you know, dogs playing with stuff like that, but an amazing hunt. So, if you're interested in anything like this, these hunts are not very, that pricey, you know, so you can really do that, you know, pretty affordable versus some other big game hunts, so. Check it out, look into it, watch this video. It's not a real long video, but it's cool, I think, so. Hope you enjoy that. Again, like, subscribe, share, and we'll see y'all later. Oh, I already got one on her. I put a one of these little puppies. Here, 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 here. Dog's ready. We found a running track. We found a big line track. It come off the hill, following the milk. Elk track. No. Right here's the big cat track. Oh, that's a big one. Dogs are ready to go. Here! 
That's a big cat. I don't care what it is, it's huge. Huge. Ho! 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 Oh boy. Oh boy. Good boy. Good boy. Monster, monster Tom. Ho! Ho! It's good. Here. 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 He said he's a monster, Tom, what he says. He's a giant. He looks big. Don't, oh. Oh. Y'all don't tear his hide up too, baby. Good job, baby. Good job. Everybody up here drives these Toyotas. Well, I'll tell you Toyota something. Drive. Everybody's driving Toyotas. One, two, three. Four. Four Toyotas. That's what all these people around here got. It's amazing. Driving through some nasty snow and stuff up in the mountains on them old logging roads. Amazing. Hey everybody, thank y'all for watching the videos. Well, again, we appreciate y'all's support. If you haven't liked, please like and subscribe. And uh, if you don't care, if you haven't got one of our books, check out Amazon and get a book. Also, we got a link on there where you can, uh, on our YouTube channel, where you can go and we got a little store set up. Like if you're interested in any kind of merchandise, shirts and stuff, you can check that out. And uh, we really appreciate anything like that. So again, we appreciate y'all's support. You know, keep watching. We're going to keep trying to share the outdoors and how we do some things and try, and try to help everybody that we can enjoy the outdoors. And, you know, we do this for just basically because of the environment and the community that's involved and built around hunting so again we appreciate y'all like share and we'll see y'all again bye